Hello friend, Jim here with JB's Big Adventure coming to you from Lake Chapala, Mexico. In this video, I want to basically be able to bring to you some comfort in regards to using the ATMs that are here at Lake Chapala. Now, there are videos that, have, that are actually circulating out there in regards to different types of things that are happening at ATMs. And what I want to do is I want to bring you some of the truths and some ways that you can actually protect yourself and be safer, but also enjoy your stay at Lake Chapala. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about the ATMs. And as you saw in the eight and the thumbnail, uh, I'm pointing out one certain ATM, and there's a reason why I did that, and I'm going to share that with you in just a moment. If you haven't already, I'd like to encourage you to go ahead and subscribe to the channel. It's a great community, and you want to make sure that you're a part of it. It's real simple to do. On the bottom right-hand corner, there's a red box that says subscribe. All you got to do is tap on it. It's free, it's easy, and it takes just a moment. On top of that, also, I'd like to encourage you to go ahead and give us a thumbs up. What that does is lets other folks know when, in fact, great videos are out about their important subjects that they're looking for about their trip or their stay at Lake Chapala. So let's go ahead and get into the information. So, first of all, what I want to share with you is that you want to be aware of skimmers. Now, skimmers are not just in Mexico. They're also in the States. And that is a device that's actually connected to an ATM that when you swipe your card, when you input your card, what it does, it actually copies that information. And then the crooks are able to take that and utilize the card. Now, normally when you're at an ATM and there's a skimmer there, you can normally tell because things just aren't right. When you actually look at where you're inserting the card, uh, what they do is there's a device that they could put on there and you can pretty much tell when in fact something doesn't just seem right. So you want to be aware of skimmers. On top of that, too, whenever you're using an ATM here at Lake Chapala or even the States, you want to make sure that you're using one that's from a major bank, from a large bank. The larger banks here at Lakeside are Banamex, HSBC, BBVA, Scotiabank, Intercam, and those are the banks that you want to pretty much be staying close to here at Lakeside. Now, a couple things for you to be able to save you money. Whenever you go in to put your card into the ATM to get monies, what happens is there's going to be an exchange rate. Now, for the most part, it's simple and easy to say that the exchange rate is about 20 pesos to one U.S. dollar. So if you go to use the ATM and says that the exchange rate today is 18.9% or is 17.5% or whatever it may be, I want to encourage you that when you go to use and have that transaction taking place, when it asks you, is the transaction, is, the, is it all right, if, are you willing to accept the conversion rate, I want to encourage you to hit decline. Here is why, because this is one of the ways that the banks locally can make money, and that is when there's a conversion rate. Now, if you're not aware what the conversion rate is, and it just says, are you willing to accept the conversion rate? That's where they're making money, because the conversion rate could be 20 pesos per dollar, but they're only willing to give 17 and a half pesos for a dollar. So it's really important for you to hit decline, and then what will happen is you're going to be getting the actual conversion rate at that time or that moment that you're actually pulling money out, pesos out of that ATM. So I want to encourage you when you come up to the point where it says accept conversion, hit decline, and you're going to be getting the better, better conversion rate for that day. Also, there's been those that have probably known of the idea called a porch pirate. Porch pirates are those individuals that when there's a package being delivered to your house, they come and they take it from your doorstep. Now, unless you got a camera, you'll never know about it. Well, I want to encourage you to be 
mindful of ATM pirates. And what I mean by that is the different ways of money can be that you could actually not be getting or being losing money or being getting ripped off in one way or another. So one of the things you want to do is it doesn't matter what ATM you're at, you want to make sure of your surroundings. Just make sure you've got an idea of who is around in the area. Now, there's also uh, those ATMs. They've also got cameras. They're able to take that video, that picture of that also. But you want to be aware of your surroundings. Now, another way of helping you keep money or save more money when you're dealing with the ATMs or dealing with your debit card, paying for items, is if you're at a restaurant and you're going to pay by debit card, you want to make sure that they bring that terminal to you at your table and that you're using your card, you're typing whatever information needs to be put into that into that terminal to be able to pay for that meal or for that item. What you don't want to do is you don't want to give them your card and they just take off and then, then they come back and bring your card back. What ends up happening is there's things that can actually take place during that moment of time that you don't see where your card's at. So another way of being able to help protect you would be to be aware of where your card's at. And if you're going to pay for a meal, make sure they bring the terminal. And the large uh, restaurants, the larger restaurants have terminals they'll bring right to you. So make sure you ask for one of those. Also, you don't want to be carrying around a large amount of cash on you. It's just, it's just a, a mindful thing and it's common sense that you don't just carry around a whole lot of cash. Now, what I do want you to know is if you've got, if you're carrying 20 U.S. pesos, I'm sorry, if you're carrying 20 pesos, that's one U.S. dollar. So if you've got 100 pesos, that's $5. So just know of the difference in the conversion rate there. Just because you have 1,000 pesos in your pocket doesn't make you wealthy because that's only 50 U.S. dollars. So be mindful of not carrying a large amount of cash. And that might not be a lot. I'm just sharing with you that if a thousand pesos is 50 US dollars, 2000 pesos is a hundred dollars. Well, there's times where you're carrying around a hundred dollars in your wallet uh, back in the States. So you can understand and just be mindful of that within your own habits of what you daily do in regards to carrying your wallet, your purse. And so you're mindful of. Be aware of anything suspicious. Now, I want to now talk about the Walmart. If you'll notice in the video, in the picture of that thumbnail, I'm pointing to one certain ATM. Now, there's a reason why. That is the better ATM to use when you're at Walmart. When you're heading to Walmart and you're going down to the end, you see the ATM. There's an ATM on the left. There's one on the right. And then there's one on the wall that's on the right. You want to be using the one that's straight ahead on the right-hand side. And here is why. That's going to give you a better conversion rate. You still want to do decline, but there is some reason that when we first came our first time, we were told that was the ATM to use. And it just so happens that we've used it over and over, and it does give you the better conversion rate. So I just want to encourage you to make sure that when you go into Walmart, that that's the ATM you're using. Because because you, in fact, will get a better conversion rate. Also, whenever you're at maybe an ATM and you see that there's guards around with long rifles, that's common because what they're doing is they're probably filling that ATM at the time. You might want to wait until they get finished with it. But that is just something that's common here, that when they're filling the ATMs, that there will be individuals, guards, armed guards that have got long rifles that are taking care and they're filling those ATMs just like back in the States. Um, I get asked, when should I get pesos? Well, here's when you get them. The best way to do it is wait till you get here to Mexico, and then you can go to an ATM and pull out pesos, because that way you're going to be able to decline the conversion rate and get the better conversion rate. Now, if you want to do that at the airport, you can do that. I can just tell you, you don't want to go to the windows that says conversion for U.S. dollars into pesos because what's going to happen is you're going to get a lower rate and you won't get the best out of best bang for the buck. You will not get the best conversion rate 
for the monies at that time. Well, I hope that this video has been helpful for you. I've really wanted to point things out to you that would be valuable for you, that will give you the information you need when it comes to dealing with U.S. money, Mexican money, pesos, and how to use the ATMs and what to be looking out for. If you haven't already, I'd like to encourage you to go ahead and subscribe to the channel. It's a great community, and you want to be a part of it. All you've got to do is in the bottom right-hand corner, there's actually a red box. Just tap on that box. That will automatically get you subscribed. It's free. It's easy. And it's a lot of fun to be able to see the videos that we bring out. Also, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. What that does is that lets YouTube know that this is a great video and a lot of people really enjoyed the information that they're getting from it and that you'll want to be able to get also. Also, on that same note, if you'd like to communicate with us, there's a way of doing that through the comment box. Now, when you comment to us, I just want you to know that when you're asking a question or giving us the idea of a video you'd like to see, I want you to know that we do, in fact, respond with you. You're not just going into the black hole putting a comment. You'll find that I definitely take the time to speak with and communicate with each and every one of you. And lastly, go ahead and hit the bell. What that does is that'll immediately notify you when a new videos come out and you want to make sure that you're seeing our next video. So with that, thank you so much for being a part of this video. We really appreciate you. Have an awesome day. We'll see you on the next video.